hit it easily and then and catches up with the quick start the Tesla made. Then then the Tesla's like, Oh you've caught up and he zooms off. <laughs> Operating instructions. Load your homebound evening commuters here at Chicago Union Station for a 5.49 p.m. on time, on on time departure. Then await instructions from the conductor. Call a 737 a jumbo jet. Well, a 747's a jumbo jet, but you know what I mean. BMJ Epic, I missed your message. What was your message? You went backwards. Oh, that was your fault, was it? <laughs> Twitch plays Paperboy, yeah, really. <laughs> Need to have a look at when you do a command, it throws a paper out the side. Oh, we've even got track IR now. Superb! So we're at 16.04, folks. 16.04 on the donations, which is amazing, but you can do better. I know you can do better, because that's just, you're so awesome. <clears throat> B9 bot, do not panic or do not worry. You have given and that it's, uh, it's brilliant. Much appreciated. Right, conductor, all aboard, doors clear. We're ready to high ball and express to Downers Grove. It was a 737-800, was it, Kickback Man? I enjoyed that video. Amtrak lover, you'll have to tell me how to turn the hip on. I don't drive this train enough. I'm in London, what am I going to do with the horseshoe snow? I haven't decided yet. haven't decided. That find the back, panel in the back, find the back button and push it. I feel like I should be looking out of the whole head mode. I guess the head just powered up. For those that don't know, HEP is head end power. It for provides heat and lighting to generation to the uh, to the rest of the train. You know, them people in the back. The people that pay for the ability for train drivers to enjoy their hobby. <laughs> basically just keeps the um, the diesel engine at 900 rpm the entire time Phil has just posted more links to his Nestle and Lufru. If you haven't picked it up yet do 
absolutely do. It's awesome. We will be doing another route, another scenario with Nesta and Luff later on. How long is this scenario? I think it's about 40 minutes or something like that. This is the slow bit of the journey. Downers Grove is 20 and a half miles away. Downers Grove, Belmont, um, Lyle and Aurora. Oh, we're going the entire length of the route, wow. Gunther, did you know end up Norfolk and Western 611 is running as you speak? That's good, I like it. 611's an impressive loco. Crucible 1, thank you for the donation, much appreciated. Are the giveaways after each scenario? I'm probably going to not give giveaways after this scenario because we just did 10. Um, but you know what? If you get it to 2,000, then I'll change my mind. Um, <laughs> uh, but we'll do scenarios, uh, giveaways after the following scenario. I don't want to run out too early. <laughs> Thanks to Mr. Robinson who paid twice and said, "Ah, oh, well, more money for the kitty." And David Harper at Skyhook Games who just bought the uh, this, the uh, Nest and Loft route. Daniel Cohen says, "Only on this train is it 900 RPM. On regular trains, there's a separate motor." So yeah, the F40PH2 Cat has a uh, Caterpillar motor in there for the um, to, uh, for the F. Um, due to the lack of that, this F40PH is required to run at 900 RPM. I always thought the P42s ran. Um, at the higher RPM as well. I'm sure when we originally did that, there was something that um, told someone told us that. Why is it 10 mph? I've got no idea, Joe. Probably due to the density of traffic in this area. It's deadly Dorito. I mean, Doritos are bad. I wouldn't have called them deadly. But if I'm not back in 45 minutes, just say Matt pedals from the trimming off the train. Get off my train. <laughs> Stephen Jam, whether you um, donate to the stream or buy the route, it, and the same amount of money ends up going to the uh, going to the charity. So pick the route up; it's an awesome route. Why is it called the racetrack? Well, we've got a, we've got a high ball, so we're good. Um, because it's kind of straight, and it's a four track. Well, that's three, but. It's uh, bits of it are uh, it are um, you end up running parallel to a lot of services, so it sort of has a sort of a racetracky sort of feel to it. It's not that the trains actually race officially. Gaming twist. Looking forward to down the mine shaft. Thank you very much for the donation. Alright, we've got 25 now. <clears throat> You've also got a, uh, a really sharp curve coming out of um, Chicago Union Station here, which turns us onto the, uh, the main line. Apparently it's a bit bumpy as well. Still high balling. Let's pick up a bit of speed. Uh, 
that's why I said officially, Stephen Jam. I'm sure officially they absolutely would not condone such a thing, but unofficially, it's, they just have to be a little bit faster than the guy beside them. And if I just said drivers, I do apologise. Thirty-five limit. I'm not stopping for nineteen forty four miles. We've got plenty of time for we need to worry about stopping. Okay, so the P40s have got the use a single motor, but the uh, P42s use a separate secondary mover. That makes sense. Sixty in a minute. Morgi has a surprise for me. I got a surprise for you. Okay, that probably wasn't a surprise. Can you have a look at the route map, Ayrton's? Absolutely. Don't want to miss too much AI, but there you go. This is Chicago. And we've got all the different yards. I think that's the Union Pacific Yard. I can't remember what these different yards are. But there's loads of yards. Chicago is incredibly busy for yards. We've got Aurora up here. And there's also the branch line that goes up to, uh, up to here. Which is like a slow single track line. Keep waiting for it to rev up when I throttle up, but uh, I'll have to wait for mine. Alright then. <laughs> Snuggy, I just donated a bit ago. My mum died in 2001 to cancer. Also, your YouTube videos helped me a lot. Well, that's really good to hear. Thanks for passing that on, and I'm really sorry to hear about you, your mum, Snuggy. Thanks for watching and for donating. Yeah, if you look around on um, Google Maps and uh, you can see what's actually uh, going on in Chicago in railroads, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing place. A highball, it could. Well, the yellow was mine. But it isn't. Taint. They catch a two. Dudley Dorito is in a hotel room and he has steam trains on the Swanage Railway going past his window. Awesome.
No, I doubt there's going to be a DTM news today, sir. Not. <laughs> I have had no time to prepare. We were late starting the stream as it is. Only 20 hours to go, is there, friend Stalin? According to my clock, we've only been going three and a half hours. I think you're not taking into account the half an hour late start. Why is there a UK AWS horn? Well, remember I've got my external thing which is playing sounds. But in that case, what happened was that um, I, over I was um, broke the speed limit, so the um, the cap signalling um, smacked me audibly. Imagine if when your alarm goes on, you do <laughs> little hand comes out of the cab, smack. Violent trains. Chris, the, what engine is this? This is the uh, F40PH on the Chicago racetrack. Sit in the passenger car for a while, shall we? on this line through quiet zones to ring the bell and then going through stations ring the bell. Okay, look. I will do my best to get it right. I will probably not get it right. Looks like a prison train. <laughs> Don't blow any horns at all, except for the last crossing before Aurora. Well, I would have forgotten to blow the horn by that one, but I guess if I get one wrong and the rest right, that's not bad. This bit gets very belly, folks. This, this is very bell, this boat. Cheers, couple of a mouse. See you later on.
Yeah, well then I'll just get complained that for doing the horn when I shouldn't be. Schweizer's own Schweizer's. Apparently I'll be breaking the rules if I blow the horn, because I've never done that before. When I'm passing a train I'm required to blow the horn. Ah, okay, a minute ago I wasn't supposed to blow the horn. <laughs> Only when passing a train I need to blow the horn, alright then. For the stop pointing, is there a way to turn it around? I don't know what you mean, White Meat. Station. Top of my head, I couldn't tell you, Jay Class fan. Another crossing up here. And a station, and then a crossing. Oh, welcome back, Chris. Sorry to hear about your headache. Six and a half miles to Downers Grove. Chris, yep, please do post the link, get one of the moderators to um, authorise it, permit it. See you in a bit again, Gouger. Zilla 
that's it. Oops. Bell stopped. Why did the bell stop? Another great crossing. I've oh, got another one there. That one on there just went past another board. Three point seven miles to our destination. Right, so for those uh, Mr. Cubs just asked if you want a giveaway when we get your prizes. So um, because you can pick anything you want, I don't have any keys, which means that at the end of the um, stream I'll package up a list of everything that everyone's asked for, send it to Dovetail, um, and um, they'll get the keys ordered from Steam. Once the keys arrive, which can take I'm gonna say up to twenty eight days, in theory it's few days but let's call it 28 days um, and uh, as soon as the keys get in I will then send them out by Twitch messaging so there'll be a little while but the, the upside is you can pick anything you want whereas if they'd given me the prize pot type of deal then it would have been uh, you'd have had to just make do with whatever there was left Back, Moggy. Down is Grove in two miles, so it should pop up on the HUD in a minute. Restriction coming up there. Deadly Torito, if you donated on phone, it should show up at some point. Um, I'm, my system's only polling every now and again. Has it appeared on the Just Giving web page? Yep, yeah, we've got a diverging signal. Five limit coming up, presumably for the crossover. See you Matisse.
Give us some time then, Dudley Dorito. Hopefully it will appear soon. Slow down way too much. How long to the end of the scenario? About uh, 40 minutes. Uh, sorry, it's 40 minutes scenario in total. Turn the bell off now, even though we haven't stopped. There's accurate running and there's keeping sanity. Alright, door is open. I know I'm late. Chris, I didn't quite understand what you're saying there. Belmont, 1.1 miles. See you later, um, T. A class fan hype for the USA TCS 160s. Yeah, absolutely, they're awesome, aren't they? <laughs> Mr. Dream Knot, I'd love some cookies. Yes, Chris. Um, so, uh, yeah, you got your email from, um, did you get it through P uh, Phil or did you get it through UK Train Sim? If you got it through UK Train Sim, you should already have the one month subs. If you got it through Phil, then um, I'll get a list off him and I'll apply them all um, later on. Nuke Bell. <laughs> Right, uh, pick up passengers from Lyle next, and then Aurora, 14 miles to Aurora. No chocolate buttons today, no! Boo! some jokes to make Matt laugh. Yeah, go on, let's have some jokes. Lyle next, 1.7 miles. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we'll have some more of them cookies, Amarilla. They were awesome. Any smacky button abuse? I'm sure there will be plenty of smacky button abuse. Plenty of smacky button abuse. Labracadabrador. <laughs> That's the name of a magician's dog, Labracadabrador. Very good. How many ice lollies have I got for 25 stream? None. Too much sugar in them, really. trying to hurt passenger view, it certainly does. I was looking at the passenger view earlier on. Yeah, we've got passenger view up here. Unlock the camera. You can be upstairs, or you can be downstairs. Next station is Aurora, in 10 minutes. Speed limit is 70. None root cookies left, Mr. Dream Liner. Boo. I'm surprised we've only had one joke so far about where we're going to Aurora. If you're going to spew, spew in it is. <laughs> it's Mole Man. Welcome, Mole Man. Knock. Thank you very much for the donation. It says good effort, Matt. Safe driving. Appreciate it. I think everyone knows that wishing me safe driving is just a lost wish, really. <laughs> And it's UKTS easily confused. Welcome. Sounds really good, Mr. Streamliner. It's all good. Oops. Oh, we 
we're going too fast. Let's not go too fast. Yep, next stop is the last stop in Aurora. Follow. Connor Sumiti, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Let's catch a left Penn station on time, arriving in Newark in four minutes. Apple, did I say your message? Presumably not. Oh, DRS and a pair of uh, Colas 37s. Network rail train, nice. Mats A, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Rufus Foxdale, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Oops, over speeding. There's a follow train going. <laughs> Shrewd D, thank you for the uh, donation. Much appreciated. Just for you, I'll put the bell back on. <laughs> again. Let's try not to break the speed limit too often. It means we have to slow down. Right, from here on it's horn and bell, normal operation.
having trouble posting scenarios for the New South Wales line, Brooks Rail. Okay, I'll take a look at that at some point. I think I've got an idea what that might be. Oh no, I don't, I don't have access to that anymore. So uh, I'll raise it with um, the people that can fix it. Oh, and these tracks you blow one horn before passing or entering a station. Okay. On the Yola West, which is the yard just before the station. Or is this a Yola? I think this is a Yola. <laughs> Secondary route signals there. About thirty five, presumably for the crossover. I've got a good stock of tea, I've got an awesome stock of tea. What have we got up ahead for a signal? We're fine. Five limit. BMJ Epic, what was your pass message? Twitch plays. We have got another um, Twitch plays coming up. 
I have a schedule. If you go and have a look at the schedule, you can see what uh, what's coming. Yard. Franz Gelden, this route is um, just Chicago and west of Chicago in the United States. Uh, the Twitch plays should say TPTS on them, There's, uh, and they're a different colour. sitting over there. There's a caboose loose about this station. Yep, this is Aurora, Penn Central. Okay, Brooks Rail, we'll see you later. Hope the reboot works. Right, I need a screenshot because that looks like a nice screenshot. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! That's a screenshot just because it, not just because it looks good, but come on! A screenshot of that caboose if we have time. We do. Right, well done. You brought Metro Train 1279 home in good time, and the computers will no doubt be pleased. Take a break. Can't take a break. We're earning money. We're raising money for charity. Speaking of which, speaking of which, 1639. Details are up there, folks. Don't forget them. <sighs> Let me have a look on the spreadsheet, see what we've got coming on next, anyway. Um, right, what time is it now? Okay, in which case it is... Uh, I need to swap a couple of scenarios around. So we're going to do Hatch Hill Quarry with the three BR361 now. Um, and then we're going to jump to Minecraft. Oh wow, we're way behind schedule, <laughs> jeez. Right, so I'm going to put all those out those out there, put that in there, and then put that in there. Right, so I've reorganised the spreadsheet. Done the Minecraft will be in about 40 minutes or so then. Right. Uh -uh. 
Um, just checking what's going on with... So that scenario, by the way, was Metro Train 1279 by El Faba. So uh, that was cool. Okay. So, right, let's get on with uh, Darkness scenario first, I think. Let's do that. <coughs> 